and what is crack lack and I'm here at Tate's. Um, of course, where else would I be? I live here, I have a little tent somewhere, uh, but I can't discuss, you know, disclose that because they'll probably kick me off. But anyways, um, today I am going to be doing a uh, review on this uh, Scarlet Wish Free Moon format from Asachi Collectibles. And um, the box is pretty awesome and I have to say, being uh, an RF Institute student, uh, graphic design and all that crap, you know what I'm saying? It's, uh, this is really, really awesome, awesome. I'm sure some of you um, who expect to see like that, an actual drawing or whatever be like, what is this? But this is pretty awesome. I love the graphic design on the box. And um, what do you call it? And what they did with the name, you know, you got the, the S and the W popping out differently right there, it's pretty nice. But um, really, really enjoy the, the graphic design right here. Like I would like to open this box and frame it. That's how cool this is. So, you know, it's something different from what they normally do, which is, you know, putting a, a, a picture of the statue on here. So, pretty cool. So, anyways, uh, let's go to the statue and see what's up. So, here, we have the statue. And it looks pretty freaking cool. It actually is um, really nice, really nice. I haven't really seen, um, uh, sculpt-wise or production-wise, any def defects. Um, like uh, certain spider womans so this really looks uh, extremely nice I'm not really sure how it comes in the box the box is really tiny but um, she looks really nice she looks really nice I think uh, they did a pretty good job on her um, of course you know like everything else you can make it better and whatnot but, um, but let's talk about what's cool first okay I'm sure I'll sneak in some some bad stuff in there, but you know how it is. Um, first, you got the the cake, which is pretty cool. There's some wires um, going around, so obviously you can pose this. Um, I'm sure if you take the time, um, really cool pose. And uh, I am sure there's gonna be people that are gonna put more strong wires so they can do more um, awesome stuff. Because I don't think you can actually do any crazy stuff with the wires here. They're really, really um, um, small. But um, but it is something you can definitely you know. You know what I'm saying? You can definitely uh, uh, mold this and make it look really cool. Um, she's definitely going <laughs> so doing her uh, her thing. Um, Magneto's, Magneto's uh, daughter, if I'm not mistaken, right? Uh, so I'm giving him some points. I know my stuff. And um, yeah, this is uh, the paint on the body looks really nice. There's some. Um, I think the lines did pretty good. They did pretty good. Again, this is a production. This is not a uh, prototype, so it's uh, it's very nice. The uh, the hair is crazy though. The hair in the back right here looks uh, looks pretty awesome. Right here, this this is insane. Um, there's a lot of hair going on right there. Um, one of the things that I will show you close up of will be the uh, this two um, pieces of hair. Um, they are painted really um, crappy. There's red um, sipping into the hair, um, which I'll show you, of course. And um, that's you know, but that's something that you gotta be really close to see if you're looking at it, you know, from a from a nice distance. Not not oh my god, right there. I'm really not gonna notice, but but yeah, there's some red there. So I would you know appreciate if that wouldn't be there, but whatever. Everything is good because of that. I don't even know what I'm saying. Anyways, but the statue looks great. Um, it's really simple. Again, it's just her with her uh, 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 dress. She has, a, a, I think, some smudges on here um, in the chest. Um, great booty. Uh, let me show you that real quick here. That's definitely uh, got to be separate close up. Look at that, very nice. Uh, sexy physique. The, uh, the, the base is the A for Avengers. Um, so it's a simple base and a base we've seen um, in uh, the other statues um, related to the Avengers. But, um, but all in all, it's a nice piece. It's really uh, simple. Um, not really sure what I would, would have loved for them else to do. Maybe uh, um, thicker uh, cables on here to make more impressive. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, not, you know, not that bad. But yeah, you know what I'm saying. Whatever. But she's really sexy. So it's really nice. I have no idea who sculpted this. I do. You see? <laughs> It doesn't say on the box. You know, that's something uh, that Saito should start doing. Putting uh, someone like what Neka does with like the, uh, it looks like movie credits, but it's the yeah, people who worked on the on the statue. Maybe that's something to think about. Have it at the bottom of the of the box. I don't know, because that would be kind of cool to know who painted, who sculpted, who worked with it, you know? But, um, but yeah. 
but this is pretty pretty cool so um i don't think i have anything else to do let's see what the guys think of this thing ladies and gentlemen what is greg i like it here at tate's again anthony Vito, and uh we're gonna see what they think about this statue and uh that's what's up <laughs> i like your little face in your that's great <laughs> so yeah guys uh scarlet witch premium format what do you think do you want to go first you go first all right i think she's a pretty cool statue um However, she's not as cool as the statue that came out a couple years ago with uh, Scarlet Witch that had like a tiny little vision. Um, she has big old titties. Oh, the comic head. Yeah, she has big old titties though. Um, she's a cool statue. My only real complaint is I feel like she's got the wrong face. Uh, I feel like she has a very Asian face. Not so much with, uh, Eastern European. I feel like, actually funnily enough, I feel like her face should be taken off and put on a Psylocke statue because Psylocke never gets a good face. Um, but she's pretty cool. She has like a velveteen cape. Um, she has on hooker boots, which is, you know, always good. Casual. Yeah, sure. Um, it actually has a lot of detail. Like, you, you can't really see it now, but like on her neck, because she's turning it, it actually has the wrinkles. Um, that would be there. See? Oh, yeah. Um, it even has the little tiny baby hairs on the neck. There's a lot of cool detail. I like her hair. It looks a little like dreadlocks to me, but otherwise, I like her hair. And I like that her cape is moldable, so you can pose it however you want. I always like that. I know that's a simple, stupid, like, silly thing. I always like that, though. I was saying that I, I wish it was a, a little bit thicker um, cable in here. Yeah. You, yeah. you really can't get that boom. Yeah, yeah like I was just saying, it's pretty much like, oh. But you know, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. What can you do with Velveteen? You really can't do much with it, so. Uh, I will say, like, in some areas, the paint job's a little lame, though. Like, on her arms, it's really uneven. Like sometimes it's flat out flesh tone, and sometimes it is not flesh tone. It, it's just not as good as it could be. Paint job wise, like her head is a completely different color than everything else. Doesn't she have like like? She like does, but like see, like for me, I feel like you can't tell what's going on here. Is that bodysuit? Is that arm? Because sometimes it's flesh tone, sometimes it's not. So. Like in the Please love. First and foremost, mm. she has nice booty. A, a beautifully sculpted booty right there. Look at that. She's got dumps on the truck. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, he was like, what? The attention what? to detail is impeccable, in my opinion, on this statue. Impeccable. Uh, I see what you say about the face. I'm not a fan of the face. But other than that, I think it's an amazing statue. Those little minor things you're talking about with paint, I don't see that. I'm gonna let you know, a little minor thing that these people pay attention to. <laughs> so when you're spending three hundred dollars on a statue, no, yeah, yeah. pretty good. But you, yeah. you don't see it. But um, I don't see. It. Okay. I love her hair. Her hair is awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's a little dreadlocky, but it's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you you like off that. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. All right, man. All right. All right. Thumb and a half. Thumb and a half. She's sexy. That's what's up. So it's all that counts, right, guys? Sexiness. Yeah. She's better made. than the Boeing statue of her. Oh. Oh. <laughs> also, ooh, one cool thing. Also, uh, you look. She has seam lines from her stockings. Yeah, yeah. That's something right there. Boom. When I gave you that ass shot that I gave you before you saw this, this was up. You saw that. I'm sure you were paying attention to this, <laughs> but yeah, stuff in lines. Yeah, man, that. So, anyways, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. We're out. We're gonna do something else. Ladies. And guys, remember to check out Tate'sComics.com, uh, their website. And um, if you are somewhere in Florida or are traveling in Florida, please check out the place. Um, as you can see, it is pretty awesome. Um, super freaking badass. So uh, it's definitely, uh, I would love to live there. Um, but yeah, so once again, a uh, big thank you to everybody at Tate's um, for allowing me to do this, for helping me to do this. And um, yeah, super pumped. So um, again, check out the website. All the links are under the description. And if you're on ptvision.com, they're under the video. Um, links to everywhere, okay? Uh, so yeah, I am out, guys. Thanks for watching. And please comment and let me know if you thought the video was awesome. All right? Latest!